Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a connect for game in Python. Let's go to our VS code and open a new and create a new file. I want to call it c4game.py. And let me close the side. Okay. And we need a couple of functions. And one of them is and the first one is a print board function. So we can actually pass a board game into it and it prints the board for us. So uh, at the first step, we need to loop over the rows in our board. And then inside this loop, we're going to print the spaces in our, uh, inside our board. And what we need to do is to write print. And inside print, we have spaces dot join to the row. Okay, and after the loop, I want to go to a new line. So let's have a have an empty print as well. And uh, that's pretty much it for the print board. The next function is a function that checks if we have any winners so far. Let's call it check winner. And you know, uh, we have four case of wins uh, in connect for and we pass board and the player character into it. And we will check. The first case is if uh, we have four disks horizontally the same. So we should loop over the uh, rows in a board. And inside each row, we should check if uh, in range of four, uh, all pieces are the same. And in order that we can actually loop over the indexes, we will say piece uh, equal to the player four piece in row of i to i plus four okay if so then we have a winner which uh, means we should actually return true the next case is when uh, four disks are the same vertically so we should loop over our columns and inside uh, we have another loop uh, for i from zero to three actually and inside this, we should actually check if uh, a row of index column is equal to the player for row in board of i to i plus 4. Okay. If, uh, if so, then we should return true again because we have a winner again and the other case is the diagonal and the first one is the top left one so uh, we should have another loop let's say for row in tree then we should loop over our columns in range of four and inside this we check if for the diagonal we should actually uh, increment both uh, row and columns so we should say board row plus i and call plus i is equal to player for i in range of it should be uh, one two uh, three which means a range of four okay if so, then we should return true. And for the other diagonal, we should do almost the same thing. But here, uh, in the uh, top right diagonal, we should uh, decrement, actually, our uh, column and row. So we should say in range of 3 and 6. So we can actually uh, decrement them. We have our inner loop on, on columns in range of 4. And we check if all board row are subtracted by i and call plus i because a row is decremented and column is incremented each time. Is equal to the player for i in range of 4. Okay, you can hard code this if it's a bit complicated for you, it doesn't really matter. Return true, and we have our four cases, and uh, we also have a case that we have not a winner, so we should return false by the way. Okay, let me close the function, and the other function that we need is to check if the whole board is full. 
so let's call it is full and we should pass the board to it okay and inside this we should return all uh, and inside this all we should uh, check if all pieces are not equal to an empty space for all pieces in a row and uh, all rows in the board. We should say for row in board and for piece in row. This is how we uh, write the syntax. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it for the is full. It checks if all the uh, places are full. And then we have our main function. And inside this main function, we should uh, the first thing we should do is to define our board object. Board should be equal to uh, spaces for each for underscore in range of seven, okay? And and we should actually loop over this uh, two, so we can actually uh, implement our columns as well. And we should say in range of six, so it's repeated. And we also need a player, and it's going to be X by default. And then right after that, we have our game loop while true. Okay. The first thing to do is to print our board. So we call print board and pass board into it. And the next thing is to input our column, column number. So say input inside each, we have template literal and we say player, the player character, input the column. A column and the number should be from zero to six. All right. And okay, uh, because it uh, is input as a string, we should parse it into an integer like this. All right. And right after we input it, uh, we should check the boundaries. So if it's valid or not. So if column is less than zero or column is bigger than six, then it's not valid. And we should simply print that the input is not valid. Okay. And after that, if it was valid, we should loop our row uh, in range of five and minus one, which means the whole row and backwardly uh, with minus one extra. So if board of row and column, I mean, uh, this specific space was equal to a space, uh, then it means that it is empty and we can set uh, the specific index and location equal to the player character. So it should be equal to the player and then break the loop. Else, we should simply say that uh, the location is full. So let's print. The column is full and, and then continue the game. Okay. All right. Now we have input our character and set it inside the board. And the next to th the next to check is if we have any winners so far. So we should call our check winner and pass board and player into it. And if uh, we had a winner, so if the function had returned true, then we uh, will print the board like this and print that uh, the player with a current player character like this wins. Okay. And break the whole loop. All right. And after we check the winner, uh, we should also check if the whole board is full or not. So call is full and pass board into it. If it was, uh, if it returned true, 
then it's a tie actually so we should print the board and then print tie okay and break the game loop all right and the last thing to do is to change the turn so uh, we should set the player to O if player is currently X else uh, it means it is O right now and we should set it to X and that's all for the game loop and let's go and review what we have made so far uh, we have our board object and our player first thing to do is to uh, print the game and then input the column check the boundaries and set that specific location to the player character and like this row and column and the player character is x by default and then we check if we have a winner like this print and break and then we check if our board is full or not all right um, it seems to be right and uh, at last we change the character for the player so because if uh, because it's in the main function let me go and invoke this main at the bottom save the changes and right click run the code let's test if our game works okay so player x enter a column from 0 to 6 uh, let me input 0 enter okay player o like 3 another 0 4 another 0 I want x to be the winner okay and another zero and x1 that's all thanks for watching